What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Panda here. And today I bring you another video for Crush Them All. I want to thank you guys so much for all the love you gave me on the last two videos. It is much more than I ever expected to get on another game other than Knighthood on this channel, and I really, really appreciate it. Like I said in the last video, I wanted to go a little more in depth on a couple of the more beginner important pieces of information as soon as possible. So today's informational guide is going to be all about staging. Now staging is a pretty simple concept, but can be a little more difficult and, and hard to understand until it's kind of put into perspective for you. So that is what this guide is all about, is going to be to show you the proper way to stage. Now there are two pieces of staging that are very important. The first is the heroes you choose to stage with. The second is how to properly stage, meaning like the concept or the process behind it. So we're going to go ahead and start with the heroes. Now, realistically, you can use any hero you want. However, the community has come up with a couple different heroes that they recommend. This is primarily based on the move speed of the hero because eventually you get to the point where staging is really boring. It, there's, no, there's no special thing for it. It's just something that happens in the background while you're focused on other game modes that are more fun and more important but it is a mandatory thing that you have to do to be able to progress in the game so let's go ahead and look at the staging heroes this is my current lineup that I'm using um, four of these are units on the list and we're gonna go through all of the units on the list so that you can choose based off the units that you have now for water which is the first stage of staging it is the 1 to 600 followed by every rotation after that um so we have water luca he's the best stager in the game it's, it's hands down there's literally no one else in the list you get him for free use him he's great okay get him up to 600 prism gold level you're fine okay after that you're gonna go into earth now for earth there's a couple different units that are recommended the first the meaning the best is pinky right here um pinky is a great staging unit if you have pinky use him or her as your staging unit. If you don't have Pinky, the next best would be a Voodoo Dagger. Um, again, this is a common, so you can farm this from the dungeons. You should have it, um, unless you're unlucky like me and only have five shards. Um, but if you don't have Voodoo Dagger, that's fine. The next best would be Sprout. Now, personally, I am holding off on swapping from my Robin Hood to Sprout simply because um, I want to finish trying to get my voodoo dagger today uh if i don't get my voodoo dagger today then i will swap to sprout um at uh right before i go to bed so that i have sprout as my staging hero now we move on to fire uh the best fire stager is monkey king right here um you should be able to get him pretty easily you can get him in a store um i believe it is the arena store let's double check that yeah you can get him in the arena store for only 200 of the arena store credits so he's relatively easy to pick up However, if you don't have him, another unit you can use is Scud. Now, in the last video, I recommended if you are if you have a little bit of funds, five bucks roughly, you can purchase the Scud pack, give you Scud at two stars. Uh, I think this is a great option um, if you don't want to build up Monkey King um, or if you just want to have a decent starting fire stager just right off the bat. He's also a great buffer for later game with his 400% a team attack buff. Uh, so definitely not a bad unit to pick up. He's good in a lot of different game modes if you don't have monkey king or scud you can use jasmine as well she is a rare hero so you might get lucky enough to pull her more likely than not you're gonna end up using monkey king or scud simply because you can buy the scud pack or you can pick up monkey king in the store Following fire, we move on to light. There are three light heroes that are recommended. The best light hero is Hikari. This is mainly due to his team buff speed, which is going to increase the farming speed of your entire team, which is phenomenal. If you don't have Hikari, which again, you can also purchase a pack for Hikari. If you choose not to purchase that pack, you want to be completely free to play or you chose to pick up someone else. There are two other units that are usable. One Eye right here is usable. He is a rare. You might get lucky and pick him up in one of the first couple chests you get. 
or you can farm the dungeon and get Light Knight, who is a common hero, which is the one I am using because I chose not to purchase the Hikari pack and I did not get one eye in any chests. So you have Light Knight here who can give you a good light farmer. After that, we move into Dark. There are two Dark units that are recommended. The best one is Kasumi, uh, which you can also pick up a $5 pack for. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you can pick up a Bat. And Bat is a common hero, which will drop in the dungeons. So, those are the list of the heroes you have. And you're probably thinking, Panda, I don't have any of those heroes. That's fine. Do what I did with Robin Hood. Use whatever hero you have. Just find one that has a roughly you know, a decent speed and kind of just push your way through. Like I said, I'm using Robin Hood. His speed is abysmal at only 160, but he's one of the starting heroes you get. Um, and eventually you'll be able to get one of the other earth heroes. Um, like I said, like Sprout and you'll be able to swap over to that. But until that happens, Robin Hood is the way to go for me. Now I want to go in depth about the actual method of staging. Now, the order in which you go in staging is 1 to 600 is Luca. Just use Luca. He's fine. He will do whatever you need for 1 to 600. Once you reach the boss of 700, he becomes immune to all damage except earth damage, which requires you to bring a green hero or an earth hero like Robin Hood or Pinky or Voodoo or Sprout. Right. So your what you need to do is get your Luca to a combination of prism and gold levels equal to 600 to get to stage 699. And then you need to get Robin Hood to a combination of 700 to beat stage 700 until you get to 800 when you move to fire, then to light and then to dark every 100 stages after 600. The element will change in that order of blue green red light and dark hopefully you guys are still caught up with me here um it's like i said it's very simple but it sometimes is not as simple as it may sound but as you can see here i actually just fought the stage 1000 boss he was only weak to dark units so only my bat was actually able to damage him and that is the important piece of information here is that you have to have a minimum of five units in order to properly stage now, I have found a little rule of thumb here. This will help you with both your online and offline staging, and that is to get your um, units to a 8 number is what I'm going to say here, and that is 608, 708, 808, 908, and 1008. As you can see here, all of my units have an 8 in the last slot. I found that on, off on offline staging, you need to get whatever uh, stage you're stuck on. So like if I were to go down here, unfortunately I can't really show it now because I'm sort of already past that stage. But if I were to ascend here, um, it would show me that my, my uh, next my my biggest one I need to hit is blue, which would be my water unit, and then I need to hit a, some damage. So what I did was I went ahead and I tested it, and I was I think it was with Monkey King. I was at 800, and it was like, oh, you need to get you need to get your Monkey King's your fire unit stronger. So I went in here and I clicked Prism level. I leveled up once. Oh, still need it. Prism level leveled up once, and when I got to eight 808, that is, it said I could move on to the next stage. Um, that was kind of how I went ahead and did it. So I think that's important because your offline staging requires you to have a unit that. That is strong enough to beat that stage while you're offline so getting all of your units to 808 or whatever an 08 at the end will allow you to beat offline stages relatively easily now that is pretty much everything you need to know about staging it's like i said it's very simple but I think you, you need an explanation to really understand it. Uh, hopefully this is enough of an explanation to make you understand the proper uh, way to stage. The biggest takeaways here are using the proper heroes and understanding that prism and gold will give you the number you need. So for example, my Luca here has a prism level of 758 and a normal gold level of 301. So if I add one more, that gives me a total level of 1,060. So realistically, I should be able to beat stage 1,060 with my Luca with no problems. 
Now, of course, this is give or take a little bit. Like I said, always just work the way you can. Get what you need to beat the boss and you will be fine. One final tip from me, guys, is in regards to ascension. Um, I do recommend that you do what I'm calling quick ascensions at the beginning of the game. As you can see here, I have 164 ascensions. Um, and you'll see up here I have a bunch of green stuff, particularly shop level bonus after ascend is at 700 and village shop revenue is at almost 5,000%. What this basically means is that when I start the game, I have 700 shop levels up to wherever their auto collect is at. So, for example, my tavern auto collect is 50, my shipwright auto collect is 100. It will automatically level those tavern or those village pieces. Um, to their auto collection so you can automatically gain gold. It also increases the gold that you gain from your shops, meaning you have a much higher income at the start of the game, allowing you to get more and more levels on your heroes earlier in the game. It also means that you'll have more gold for later levels as well. I think this is incredibly important. It is very boring, but it is super helpful later on in the game because you'll have that extra gold. All right, guys, that is going to be it for me today. I do want to make a little bit of a fun thing. I think what we're going to do in all of our videos is have at least one chest open at the end of every video that you guys can join me with. So save your chests for the videos and open with me. We have a silver chest. It's just our daily. Probably won't get anything special. Maybe we'll get a skeleton giant. That'd be cool. But anyways, guys, we are going to open this up in three, two, one. Let's see what we get. Hey, we got 10 swift. Okay, not, it's not what I wanted, but 10 swift. It's 10 closer to having a 7 star that we will probably never get her to 7 star. Um, but guys, that is it for me today. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to the corner so you'll be notified when all my videos go live. Also, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And if you guys want to talk more about the game, you can head down into the description and join the Discord or leave a comment in the comment section below. I do my best to answer everybody's comments. Thank you so much for watching the video. And guys, enjoy the end screen.